continue on past the 3 eighths. The opening quarter was in 31 and a two fifths. They round the upper turn and a drive to the stretch for the first time as they approach the halfway point out front and continuing to set the early fractions is the number three entry Garbarato in along the fence and now second racing Roger. Here comes Kill Karen Flair up on the outside at the rail. Maryland Breeze then on the outside. Arnold's Choice is on the move. Bambi Fontaine, Bashful Waveview. And far back and treading after the break, lots of pleasure. They continue on to the back stretch for the final time. 102 and 4. One's the half. Up front, it's still Garbarato leading the way. Kill Karen Flair giving chase on the outside. Racing Roger at the wood is third. Outside and second over. That's Arnold's Choice. Maryland Breeze. Bambi Fontaine. Bashful Waveview coming three wide. They continue on past the three quarters. And it's still Garbarato there by one length. Racing Roger in along the fence. Here comes Arnold's Choice now giving chase up on the outside. Three wide. Racing Roger down along the fence. They move on to the upper turn. Garbarato now by length and a half. Kill Karen Flair is second. Racing Roger is pacing third. Outside Arnold's Choice is fourth. Maryland Breeze fifth. Less than an eighth to come. 136 and one to three quarters. Garbarato kill Karen Flair on the outside. Is within a half a length second as they straighten out for the payoff. Garbarato kill Karen Flair driving up on the outside. Racing Roger is third as they drive to the wire. Garbarato kill Karen Flair. It's going to be Garbarato kill Karen Flair and Racing Roger. Race number two, P.H. Scrabbler, Simcoe Flame, quickly set, pacing power, Bradley's Pride, proven ability, kill Karen Bay, and anniversary night. They are off and pacing, P.H. Scrambler away from the rail, quickly to grab the lead, Simcoe Flame drops in second on the outside, Bradley's Pride, far outside, has proven ability, three wide into the first turn. Then Kill Karen Bay comes away fifth, anniversary night from six, quickly set seven on pacing power trails. They continue on to the back stretch. P.H. Scrabbler will chart the path onto the opening quarter with Simcoe Flame sitting in the pocket. Bradley's Pride gets parked to the outside third. Ruben Ability outside. It'll all the fence is Kill Karen Bay. Then we go back to Anniversary Night. Quickly set and pacing power. They move past the opening station. And out front, that's P.H. Scrabbler by one length. Bradley's Pride gets the parking ticket second. The Simcoe Flame will enjoy a good journey third. Outside with cover fourth. That's Proven Ability. 31 and two fifths was the opening station as they make their way off the upper turn. It's P.H. Scrabbler in control. Simcoe Flame sits the pocket. Bradley's Pride, a long trip on the outside third with proven ability parked out with cover fourth. Gil Karen Bay is hemmed in fifth on the move on the outside. Pacing power, then anniversary night, and quickly set. Can see them all as they head for the potty turn. It's P.H. Scrabbler, Bradley's Pride, now moving up on the outside to challenge. In along the fence is Simcoe Flame third. Kill Karen Bay is now fourth. Proven ability on the limb. Fifth anniversary night. Locked in sixth. Facing power in seven. And quickly set still trails. Onto the back stretch. And they race out of the three quarters with P.H. Scrambler still there by three parts of a length. Bradley's Bride hangs tough at the outside. Second Simcoe Flame is looking for daylight third. 103 and one was the half. As they check in out the three quarters, and it's still P.H. Scrabbler, Bradley's Bride, up on the outside. As they move on to the seven eights, it's still out front. P.H. Scrabbler on the outside. Here comes Kill Karen Bay down along the fence, and racing third is Simcoe Flame as they make their way off the upper turn and straighten out for the stretch drive. 135 was the three quarters. They drive to the wire on the outside. Kill Karen Bay out the rail. P.H. Scrambler. As they drive to the payoff, it's Kill Karen Bay getting up to one. It's second is P.H. Scrambler, the show spot to Simcoe Flame.
Race number three, Benchy's Lady, Touch of Spray, Westfall Boy, Aries Morningstar, Jump, Ian R. Pompette, Dutch Hill Bruiser, and Classy Wave. They're off and uh, pacing, and as they leave the gate, Westfall Boy away quickly to ground the lead. Touch of Spray driving out second, Ian R. Pompette, the outside third, Jump settles fourth, Benchy's Lady from five, Dutch Hill Bruiser off gated in sixth, and off stride. As they continue by the eighth into the back stretch, Westfall Boy out front leads them out of the opening quarter. Touch of Spray is racing second. Ian R. Pompette takes a look from three. Jump is next in line fourth. Benchy's Lady five. Large gap back to Aries Morningstar, who races six. Dutch Hill Bruiser and the Classy Wave are the trailers. They continue past the opening quarter in single file fashion. It's Westfall Boy leading the way up front by one length. Touch of Spray sits in the pocket. They were by the opening quarter. In 32 and one fifth with Ian R. Pompette racing it along the fence in three. Up on the outside, here comes Betsy's Lady now driving from fourth. At the rail jump is fifth. Aries Morningstar and Dutch Hill Bruiser in Classy Wave. Off the turn, they enter the stretch for time one as they approach the halfway point. It's Westfall Boy still there by one. Here comes Ian R. Pompette to challenge on the outside second. Touch of spray out the wood is third on the outside. Betsy's Lady then jump. Aries Morningstar and Dutch Hill Bruiser. And Classy Wave is out the tail end. Into the paddock turn, final time as they continue on to the three quarters. Westfall Boy is still in charge by a length on the outside. That's the NR Pop at second. A touch of spray out the wood is third. Jump within striking distance fourth. Betsy's Lady in five. They straighten out and race out of the three quarters. Westfall Boy looking strong up front. E&R Pompette on the outside is still second. Touch of spray third. Jump is pacing along in fourth with Benchy's Lady fifth. On the outside, six, Classy Wave, then Dutch Hill Bruiser and Aries Morningstar. They move on to the upper turn. Westfall Boy opening up now by three lengths. Taking over second is Touch of Spray. Dropping back, Enar Pompette. Jump on the outside is fourth. Off the turn, less than one eighth to come as they straighten out for the payoff. And it's all Westfall Boy with Touch of Spray racing second. On the outside, third is Jump as they drive through the stretch into the wire. It's Westfall Boy going to win it. Touch of Spray on the outside. Jump, Jump will get up for second. Touch of Spray third. Race number four has quality record. Casimir Hero, Alf got lucky, Scotch will do. I'm a Holly, MD Waverly. In the back here, it's Woodmere Hobo. Here they come. They are off and pacing away quickly as quality record from the rail to grab the lead. In along the fence, Woodmere Hobo up on the outside. I'm a Holly, far outside. MD Waverly he is three wide into the first turn. And a gap of four or five lengths back to Casimir Hero, who races away in five. Alf got lucky, and Scotch will do to the outside. On to the backside for the first time. Quality record out front leads by length. M.D. Waverly finds a seat in the pocket with Widmere Hobo racing along third. Next in line is I'm a Holly fourth. Moving up on the outside is Scotch will do to fill the gap fifth. Sixth at the rail is Casimir Hero, and Alf got lucky is the trailer. They continue into the turn as they approach the three eights. Thirty and two fifths was the opening quarter, and the leader is quality record. MD Waverly sits in the garden spot with Woodmere Hobo tied up third. Next in line fourth is I'm a Holly. Then Scotch will do. Asimir Hero and uh, treading is Alf Good Lucky. Off the turn, no change as they approach the halfway point. Quality record. Here comes MD Waverly now pulling the pocket to challenge for the lead. As they continue into the paddock turn, MD Waverly on the outside takes over. Quality record is second now with Woodmere Hobo third. I am a Holly looking to the outside fourth. Fifth is Scotch Will Do. Casimir Hero and Alf Got Lucky is at the back. They continue past the 5 8. MD Waverly will chart the path onto the three quarters and leads by one length. Quality record is right there second. Gap of four lengths back to Woodmere Hobo. To the outside goes I'm a Holly fourth. Scotch Will Do is pacing along fifth. 103 and 2 was the half. They check in out the three quarters, and MD Waverly opens up now by three. Quality record trying to hang in second. Woodmere Hobo third. The outside, I'm a Holly fourth. Scotch Will Do in fifth. Casimir Hero and Alf Good Lucky. They move past the seven eighths. It's all MD Waverly clear by four and a half lengths. 
Second is quality record. There goes Woodmere Hobo to the outside. Third, I'm a Holly fourth. Scotch will do fifth off the turn. They straighten out to the lane. 133 and two is the three quarters. MD Waverly on the outside. Here comes Woodmere Hobo at the rail. Quality record, but it's all MD Waverly. Woodmere Hobo gets up for second, and it looks like Scotch will do on the outside third. Race number five has stand-up DB, Volvic, Skipper's Peak, Emerald Eyes, Red Wing Kelly, Ticket to Paradise. In the back tier, Sir Raymond George and Quality Shadow. They're off. Stand-up DB gets away off the rail quickly to grab the top spot. Volvic up on the outside. Skipper's Peak is three deep. Then Sir Raymond George gets away fourth. Quality Shadow with a five spot. Red Wing Kelly has six, Emerald Eyes and Ticket to Paradise. They move into the back stretch for time one as they approach the opening quarter. It's Stand Up DB leading by one length over Volvic. In the three is Skipper's Peak. Sir Raymond George next in line fourth. And a gap back to five. And Quality Shadow up on the outside. Emerald Eyes as they move past the opening quarter. Red Wing Kelly and treading his ticket to paradise up front stand up db now volvic out of the pocket to challenge for the top spot skipper's peak in behind them races third racing along in a four is sir raymond george as they round the upper turn 30 and four fifths was the opening quarter up front they're matching strides on the outside volvic out the rail is stand up db they battle for top spot as they approach the halfway point in along the fence and racing third skipper's peak into the passing lane goes sir raymond george from four Next in line five is Emerald Eyes, then Quality Shadow, Red Wing Kelly, and Ticket to Paradise, three wide from the back. They race into the paddock turn as they move on to the back stretch. Final time, stand up DB now by three parts of a length. Volvic on the outside at the wood third is Skipper's Peak. Outside and well spotted fourth is Sir Raymond George, followed by Emerald Eyes in the five spot. 102 is the half. They continue on past the three quarters. Stand up, DB is still in charge of the field. Here comes Sir Raymond George moving up three wide on the outside. Dropping back in the center is Volvic. In along the fence, Skipper's Peak. Emerald Eyes on the outside is three wide. And moving on as they approach the 7-8. Stand up, DB with the lead. Sir Raymond George on the outside. Here comes Emerald Eyes up three deep third. At the rail, Skipper's Peak is now fourth. Less than one eighth to come as they round the upper turn and straighten out for the stretch drive. It's stand up DB on the outside. Sir Raymond George down along the fence. Skipper's Peak, Emerald Eyes as they drive through the lane to the payoff. Stand up DB now skips off by three. Sir Raymond George will finish second and up for third is Emerald Eyes. Race number six, Dancers Express, Hazelview Prince, Fly by Night, Tidal Wave, Obi's Moimila, Fairview Miss, Golden Coin Inn, and Trojan Fire. They are off and pacing. Dancers Express gets the first call, driving out second. Hazelview Prince on the outside, Fly by Night third, wide into the third. Is Tidal Wave down along the fence, Golden Coin Inn is setting a fifth and nearly going trojan fire from a sixth as they move into the back stretch obi's boy mila and fairview miss are the trailers they head on to the opening quarter answers express fly by night the outside second at the rail third hazelview prince on the limb and moving on now is tidal wave as they move past the opening quarter off stride fly by night as they check in at the opening quarter dancers express now with the lead by one length at the rail second hazelview prince tidal wave gets parked out third in along the fence and racing fourth as they continue on past the 3 8 Golden Coin in. They move off the upper turn and travel in front of the grandstand for time one. Dancers Express had them by the opening quarter in 31 and 4 fifths and still leads by one length. Tidal Wave is parked up on the outside. At the rail is Hazelview Prince getting a good journey. Then back in along the fence and locked in a fourth 
He's Golden Coin in. Fairview Miss on the outside is fifth. Trojan Fire nowhere to go sixth. Fly by ninth back in seven. And Obi's Moimila is trailing the field. They race into the paddock turn as they continue past the 5 8 Dancers Express still there by one length. Hazelview Prince getting a perfect journey second. Tidal Wave the outside third. Golden Coin in fourth. Fairview Miss five. Fly by ninth. Now up three wide from six. Trojan Fire. And four wide for the back is OB's Moimila. 104 and 3 was the half. They approach three quarters. Dancers Express is still leading by one length. Hazelview Prince gives chase from two. Tidal Wave hangs tough on the outside. Third at the Wood Golden Coin and fourth. OB's Moimila moving up in the passing lane. Now to sit fifth. Fly by night. Sixth. Trojan Fire and Fairview Miss. They move past the seven eights. And Dancers Express is still the leader. Hazelview Prince yet to pull the pocket as they swing off the turn. It's Dancers Express. Hazelview Prince giving chase second out the rail. Golden Coin and third. They straighten out for the payoff. Dancers Express. Here comes Hazelview Prince up on the outside. Golden Coin and out the rail. They drive to the payoff. Golden Coin and Hazelview Prince. It's close. We'll wait for the photo. Obi's boy Mila gets out for third. Race number seven, Rebel Tom, Greg's Victory, home at last, Queen's Future, Jersey Dallas, C.S. Diana, Lingan Parker, and Eleanor's Gems. Here they come. They are off and facing. Greg's Victory gets off the gate quickly to grab the top spot. Rebel Tom moving out second at the rail, home at last, up on the outside with Queen's Future. And along the fence, Lingan Parker is away in the five spot. They head on by the eighth end of the back stretch up front. Greg's victory leads the way. Here comes Queen's Future now driving up looking for control. Home at last is in along the fence and uh, pacing a third as they continue on past the quarter. Rebel Tom in the four spot. Lingan Parker has five. Eleanor's gems from six. Jersey Dallas looks at it from seven. And CS Diana trails the field. Seating arrangements are now complete. Out front it's Queen's Future leading by one length. Greg's victory. He is giving chase from the pocket with home at last. Next in line, third. Gap of one back to Rebel Tom, fourth. Lingan Parker looks to the outside, fifth. 30 and two is the opening panel. They round the turn and drive through the stretch, approaching the half. Queen's Future is the leader by one length. Greg's victory he is sitting tight up in the pocket. Third is home at last, up on the outside. Here comes Lingan Parker moving first over. Down along the fence is Rebel Tom in five. Out and on the move is Eleanor's Gems. Then Jersey Dallas and C.S. Diana. They continue on to the back stretch. Final time as they approach three quarters. Queen's Future is still in charge by one length. Second out the rail. As they move on to the three quarters is Greg's victory. Lingan Parker on the outside is third. Facing along fourth. That's home at last. Eleanor's Gems is fifth. 102 and three was the half on past the three quarters. Queen's Future the one to catch. He's maintaining a one length lead. A good trip for Greg's victory second. Outside, Lingan Parker is third. Off the rail is home at last from four. And Eleanor's Gems is pacing fifth. They've got less than one-eighth to come as they straighten out off the upper turn. It's still Queen's Future. Greg's victory right there second. Lingan Parker home at last coming up three wide. They straighten out for the payoff. 134 and two. Queen's Future. Here comes home at last on the outside. Greg's victory as they drive to the payoff. Queen's Future hangs on to win it. It looks like Greg's victory, then home at last. Race number eight of the evening, top of the stretch, has Aaron Zemadeus, Bolu, Joyce's Fault, Mabu Rivervella, Skipper Jet, you'll see, Whisper Nifty Neck, and Marmashi Denise. They are off and pacing, Aaron Zemadeus gets away quickly to grab the top spot up on the outside, is Skipper Jet down along the fence, Whisper Nifty Neck has come away in a three, Mabu Rivervella on the limb fourth, out the wood, Marmashi Denise. 
He's now sitting a tight out fourth as they move on to the back stretch for time one. Aaron Zemanias on top, skipper Jet. He's traveling from the pocket in along the fence. Whispered empty neck is third. Marmachi Denise is racing in the fourth spot up on the outside. Mabu Ravella now quickly moving on to challenge for the top spot. As they move past the quarter, Mabu Ravella, Aaron Zemanias out the rail is now second. Skipper Jet is racing third. Joyce is fall on the outside is fourth. Whisper and Empty Neck now takes a look from five. In sixth is Marmashi Denise. Olu is pacing seven as they round the upper turn and enter the stretch for time one. Opening quarter in 31 and three fifths. Mabu Ravella has the lead, but not the rail. That's controlled by Aaron Zemanias. And in three, that's Skipper Jet from the four spot. Whisper and Empty Neck. He looks to the outside, followed by Marmashi Denise. Joyce's fault. Bolu. And uh, you'll see, can see them all as they head into the paddock turn on their way past the 5 8. It's Aaron Samadeas holding out of the lead by three parts of a length. Mabu Ravella on the outside goes a tough trip second. Skipper Jet is now locked in third in along the fence. And now swinging 3 1 as they move to the three quarters is Marmashi Denise midway through the back stretch. Marmashi Denise gaining ground quickly on the outside. Now to challenge Aaron Samadeas for the top spot. Out the rail, Skipper Jet is third. Whisper Nifty Nick. Up three wide on the outside, fourth. They continue on to the seven eights. Marmashi Denise has a slight advantage over Aaron Zemanias. Skipper Jet off the wood and well spotted for the stretch drive. Third, Whisper and Empty Neck, fourth. Joyce's fault from five. Off the upper turn, less than an eighth to come as they straighten out for the payoff. 134 and three, and Aaron Zemanias regains the lead. Half a length outside. Marmashi Denise second. Skipper Jet closing up on the outside, three deep. As they drive to the payoff, Aaron Zemanias, Marmashi Denise, Skipper Jet. It's going to be Aaron Zemanias holding on to win it. Skipper Jet second, Marmashi Denise third. Race number nine, top of the stretch, B.J. Glamour, B.G.'s Ever Sharp, Artie's Music, Combo Quid Noble, Brett and Mike, Ben Bishop, M.D. Tamsin, and Helen's Memory. They are off and pacing, B.G.'s Ever Sharp getting away quickly to grab the lead on the outside, Combo Quid Noble, out three wide is Brett and Mike, B.J. Glamour has come away fourth, M.D. Tamsin on the outside, Helen's Memory, then Artie's Music. As they continue into the back stretch, Ben Bishop trails the field as BG's Ever Sharp on top and leading by three quarters of a length on the outside. Combo Good Noble is driving second. Brett and Mike on the outside is third. Down along the fence, BJ Glamour looks at it from four in the five spot. As they move past the opening quarter, MD Thompson, then Helen's Memory. In along the fence, Artie's Music is seventh, and Ben Bishop is at the back of the field. They move through the turn as they approach the three eights. It's now Comico Noble leading by a length and a half with BG's Ever Sharp giving chase in the garden spot. Brett and Mike has found a seat third off the turn. BJ Glamour has fourth. MD Temps and holds out of the five spot as they travel through the stretch and approach the halfway point. Thirty and two was the opening quarter. It's Comico Noble now drawing off by two and a half. Second is BG's Ever Sharp. Facing along third, Brett and Mike in the four spot as they head for the paddock turn is B.J. Glamour. Here comes M.D. Tampson up on the outside. Helen's memory to follow. Then Artie's music and Ben Bishop is still trilling. On to the back stretch they go with Kabuka Noble charting the path onto the three quarters and leading by two open lengths. B.G.'s ever sharp second. Here comes M.D. Tampson out of challenge on the outside third with Brett and Mike next in line fourth. Dropping back is B.J. Glamour. They move past the three quarters. 101 and 1 was the halfway point. Comic with Noble. B.G.'s ever sharp second. M.D. Temps on the outside third. Brett and Mike is racing fourth. Helen's memory joins the auction five. Artie's music has sixth. Ben Bishop in seven. And now treading is B.J. Glamour. On past the seven eights they go. 131 and three fifths to three quarters. And it's all Comic with Noble as they turn for home. B.G.'s ever sharp trying to hang on second. On the outside and racing third as they drive to the stretch. M.D. Temps and Helen's memory a late rush, but it's not going to be enough to catch Comico Noble. Helen's memory second, third, BG's ever sharp.
Race number 10 of the evening has Winkist, P.T. Betlin, Tim Achado, Disputer, Quarter Wave, Uda Free, another extra and Rambling Don. They are off and uh, pacing. Tim Achado gets away quickly looking to grab the top spot. P.T. Betlin driving out second. Winkist is away third. At the wood, another extra fourth up on the outside. Quarter Wave from five. Rambling Don looks sixth in the early going. From seven, that's Disputer. The early trailer is Udafane. They move on to the back stretch, approaching the opening quarter. And Tim Achado skips off by four open lengths. P.T. Vetlin is racing second up on the outside. Quarter wave is pacing third. Windkist out the wood is fourth. From five, that's another extra. Rambling Don holds down the sixth spot. Disputer seven, and treading is Udafane. They continue into the turn as they approach the three eighths. Out front, it's Tim Achado now by two. Taking over second is quite a wave. Tim Achado leads them off the upper turn and had them by the quarter in a 30 seconds flat. Quite a wave giving Chase second, racing third. As they come through the stretch is P.T. Betlin. Winkist takes a look from four in five. That's another extra up on the outside. Uda Fane, rambling down, and uh, Disputer trails. They move into the lower turn as they continue to the 5 eighths. And out front it's still Tim Achado with quite a wave giving Chase second. In a three is P.T. Betlin. Windkiss now to the passing lane fourth, followed on the outside five by another extra. They continue on to the three quarters. 101 and two was the half. It's still Tim Achetto with quite a wave. Two lengths back in second. Windkiss is racing third. P.T. Betlin fourth up on the outside. Another extra is now taking over the four spot. They continue on to the upper turn. Tim Achetto with quite a wave second, Winkist is now third, another extra fourth, Udafane on the outside is fifth. They move on past the seven eights, Tim Achado is still there by one length, quite a wave is closing in second with Winkist racing third, another extra is fourth, off the turn, they straighten out for the stretch drive, Tim Achado now under urging on the outside, quite a wave now drives on to take over, down along the fence is Udafane with a late rush, as they drive to the wire, Udafane gets up the win at quite a wave second, and Winkist finished. Six Udafani, a four-year-old mare by Supreme Jade, owned by Lester Milton of Halifax. Trained and driven a victory by Frank McDougall, the mare going right to her record of 204 and four fifths. Race number 11 of the evening has Super Fry, Grease Can, Gatekeeper, Fussy's Philly, Point Dundas A, Netta Matilla, and Good Clean Fun. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Grease Can gets away quickly to grab the top spot. Down along the fence, Super Fry away second up on the outside. He is Gatekeeper now driving on as they move by the eighth into the back stretch. Grease Can on top. Gatekeeper settles second. Super Fry is third on the outside. Netta Matilla is racing fourth. Good clean fun gets away five. Fossey's Philly and Point Dundas A is treading the field down the back stretch. They head for time one approaching the quarter. Out front it's Grease Can. Netta Matilla now moving up on the outside second. At the fence gatekeeper is third. Next in line fourth. That's Super Fry. Good clean fun. Takes a look from five. In at sixth is Fossey's Philly and Point Dundas A is treading the field. Opening panel 29 and a three fifths as they move off the upper turn. And Grease Can still has the lead by one length. Netta Matilla has found room second. Racing along third is Gatekeeper with Super Fry next in line. Fourth, fifth is Good Clean Fun. In along the fence, Fussy's Philly and Point Dundas A looking to the passing lane from the back. As they continue into the paddock turn, it's still Grease Can holding on to the lead by one length. Netta Matilla is second. The Gatekeeper third. Here comes Super Fry up on the outside. Moving first over as they continue on to the back stretch. Final time. Grease Can is still out front now by two lengths. Second out the rail as they continue through the back stretch. And out of the three quarters, Netta Matilla on the outside. Super Fry is third, a minute two fifths by the half as they check in out the three quarters. And Grease Can 
is clear by two and a half. Netamatilla second, Super Fry third, Gatekeeper. Here comes Point Dundas A, three wide. He now sits fourth as they move past the seven eights. It's Grease Can by four. Netamatilla second, in along the fence. Gatekeeper third, Point Dundas A, the outside fourth. Off the turn, they straighten out for the payoff. 130 and three to three quarters, and it's all Grease Can as they drive to the payoff. Second is Netamatilla, the outside Point Dundas A. It's Grease Can winning it. Netamatilla, Point Dundas A. Netamatilla, Point Dundas A, third. Grease Can, a five year old gallant son of Maxwell Almerhurst out of the damn Grease, owned and trained by Brenton White of Kennecook. Jim Davis in the bank for his third win of the evening. Island 201, a new race record for Grease Can. Twelfth and final dash, end cut, Ocean Street, Kevwood Scram, HB's Max, Tim's Major, Tough Ben, Sir Dalloway, and Barbie Ballou. They are off and a pacing end cut away quickly from the rail to grab the lead. Up on the outside, that's Tough Ben driving out to challenge in along the rail and settling third is Ocean Street. Kevwood Scram has come away in the four spot. Fifth is HB's Max. Sir Dalloway has sixth and nearly going. Barbie below seven. And Tim's Major is the trailer. On to the back stretch in single file as they head to the opening quarter. Up front, it's Encut leading the way by one length. Second is Ocean Street. In along the fence. And racing from three is Tough Ben. Next in line, fourth. Kevwood Scram. There goes Sir Dalloway into the passing lane. Moving up first over. HB's Max is now sixth. Barbie below. And Tim's Major by the quarter in 31 and four fifths. And out front, it's end cut. Showing the way off the upper turn as they enter the stretch for the first time with Ocean Street giving chase second. Sir Dalloway has now moved out to sit third in the passing lane. Down along the fence and looking at it from four as they come past the half is Tough Ben. RB below on the outside with cover in a five. Tim's Major on the move six. Seventh, Kevwood Scram and trailing. HB's Max as they continue into the lower turn, moving on past the 5H end cut. He is still your leader by one length. Ocean Street enjoying a good journey second. Sir Dalloway is first over third. Locked in out the fence in fourth. He is tough Ben the outside. And racing five, Barbie Ballou. Kevwood Scrab, Tim's Major, and HB's Max. The half 104 and four fifths. Midway through the back stretch. And cut is still the boss by one length. Ocean Street is second up. Tim's Major now driving up three wide as they move on to the upper turn. It's end cut out front. Tim's Major on the outside. Ocean Street in along the fence as they continue on past the 7 eighths. End cut the one to catch. Ocean Street right there second but locked out the fence on the outside. Tim's Major as they straighten out for the stretch drive. End cut leads them on home and is still there by one length on the outside. Tim's Major is second. Ocean Street down along the fence as they straighten out through the lane. Three of them across the track. Tim's Major with the most step wins it. Second is end cut. Ocean Street third.